how has a small country like israel made a dominance like this but the whole arab world has not been successful that's a great question we haven't really discussed israel much until now so let's talk about israel as always we took take a look at the map okay uh, okay let's go westwards from india let's go to the middle east and to the mediterranean region the eastern mediterranean so this here is israel the nation of israel and as you can see every single neighboring country is its enemy they all want israel to be gone they want israel to disappear from the map they want to erase this nation from the map this tiny little desert nation it's not a desert nation but yeah so they they all want israel to be erased from the map and still here it is israel is still there and the question is the question is how is a small country like israel able to be so dominant but the arab world has not been so successful so the reason israel has succeeded and prospered and thrived is first of all because of help from the west a small country like this with so few resources cannot survive on its own unless it gets external help now israel has a very powerful and influential and politically active to some extent jewish diaspora across the world especially in the western world especially in the united states so the united states has been a very strong ally of the israelis over the over, ever since israel was was recreated in the 1940s so the americans have propped up israel to a great deal the british have also helped israel nowadays there are political problems with, between israel and the us obama was very very uh, he was very antagonistic to netanyahu and israel in general and the democrats have usually have of in recent times been not favorably inclined towards israel but historically the united states has supported israel to a great deal in terms of uh, financial support or or military support transfer of certain uh, sale of certain military items etc and the other thing is that israel is an extremely resourceful country so uh the israelis have always had the siege mentality and you can't blame them for it because they are surrounded on all sides by enemies they have fought numerous wars etc so they basically the entire adult population of israel is basically they are professional soldiers they all undergo proper military training they all serve as soldiers and they are all ready to serve in the armed forces at a moment's notice and israel has a very powerful uh, security service intelligence services the so called mossad and the shin bet etc which enables israel to project power essentially at a global scale to some extent uh it can target uh, forces that are that are antagonistic towards israel anywhere in the world so they have proven this they have demonstrated this time and time again operation entebbe and the the abduction of uh, of adolf eichmann from argentina in the 1960s or 70s 60s most likely etc so they are able to project power globally and they they are technologically very advanced they have ensured that their their industries and, and technologies are very advanced they have this uh, startup culture they have this entrepreneurial culture you know they encourage all that a lot and they have ensured that they develop the best technology so these are the factors that have uh, enabled israel to uh, to stay uh, independent to stay uh, to ward off the enemies and let me also mention the most important factor israel has nuclear weapons Israel is a nuclear it's an undeclared nuclear weapon state it has had nuclear weapons for many decades it has never officially uh, declared this but it is a, it's an open secret so that is uh, one of the major factors that if israel comes under mortal threat if it is uh, under threat of being overrun by the enemy it will use nuclear weapons as a last resort so these are the factors that have ensured that israel not only uh, stays independent stays uh, stays uh, secure but also thrives so that is the reason why israel is doing well and why are the arabs not doing well because well the first thing is that the entire uh, middle east it's always under crisis right the middle east crisis has been going on for decades well it's the western powers to some extent that have 
ensure that this region is always under crisis so that they are able to project power there and interfere and uh, basically uh, basically control the various actions of various governments by playing sides etc so that is one reason and the arab nations are essentially basically these are artificially created nations the borders that you see today are artificially drawn borders uh, this was all once under the ottoman empire and then under the british empire and uh, various countries were controlled by various uh, western powers and when they left the region they drew these arbitrary boundaries so these boundaries will change over time as boundaries naturally do so things will eventually some day come to some sort of of a balance or equilibrium so that is the reason why the all these arabic countries and the basically the entire islamic world is always divided and in a state of turmoil this is the legacy of colonialism and the legacy of their internal divides and all that it's a very complicated story but to a great extent it's been fomented and kept going by the west to a great extent and that is also the reason why israel has been supported so much by the west to keep this entire middle east cauldron boiling 